All right, since it's early, and I don't know if they're gonna work on this shit today, we're gonna take a little sneak walk through it all. Because it's not hot out yet. I think it's supposed to get like up to 87 degrees or some crap. I probably should mow, but the grass is still kinda wet. So not a good idea to do that just yet. I think that tree, I don't know. I guess they just didn't clean it up. They cleaned most of it up. See, okay, they're leaving a little, they're leaving a few random trees, which is weird. Oh, there is a, look, there is a pine tree right here that they did not touch. I'm guessing they're not going this far. Because the line's right there. So I'm guessing they're not bothering with that. That'd be fine, too. If they just let this pine tree grow, that'll give me some privacy as well. Oh, they did mark. That one. Yeah, they didn't mark any of our other ones. They marked that one with the orange dot. Okay, so I guess the orange dot ones. Yeah, leave the pine tree there, please. We love pine trees because they stay green all year round and, you know, privacy. It's a good thing. So, yeah, if they can leave the pine trees, I'm fine with that. That one probably is one that got, like, seeded. You know how, like, birds eat stuff and then they poop the seeds out somewhere and then they end up growing. But, yeah, see, there's none on our trees but the ones further out. Even the little ones, which, yeah, little ones kind of got shaded out anyway with all the woods, so that's kind of normal. So, like, a couple of the little ones are going bye-bye. Like, that one, there's, like, it's just a spindly stick, and then all the leaves are at the top. So, it got shaded out pretty good. But I guess they're leaving just some of the random big ones. Which is weird, but unless the, the markers are on the other side of them. So it's like there's a few more on the back side of the neighbor's houses that are marked. So I don't know, let's go over to these big ones and see if um, any of them are marked. Or not, or if they're actually just leaving those. Because, ah, oh, the one with the carving is still up. Freaking cool. Because I don't know how long it's been there. Or, like, ca the carving, I mean. But, it looks like an upside down fish. <laughs> but, yeah. So are they going to actually just freaking leave that tree? I guess so, because I don't see a mark on it anywhere. That's fine, because that one's huge, and it's the root base is kind of cool. But then, yeah, you can see the houses that way. You can, I can see even across. I know it doesn't show on camera, but you can see where some of the ones over that way are marked. So they are going to cut more down, just, they got most of it. Um, but yeah, apparently, according to the grid, houses are not going to come all the way down here. Unless it just wasn't finished. I don't know. But if they do, well... <laughs> I'm be putting more pine trees in for privacy. Looks like they nicked this one. But yeah, so now you can really see how big of an area this was. It wasn't huge, huge, but it was big enough. And you know, I could pull a line from a movie and see who all remembers. Land of the Yellow Dragons. Yeah, see if y'all remember that. If you do, you're old as dirt, just like me. <laughs> and you're a legend, too. 
if you've never heard it, therefore never seen the movie that that's from, you might be a little too young to be on this channel, but I don't know, it's an animated kids movie. You may have been lucky to see it. Wouldn't say it was one of my favorite animated kids movies, but it was, it, it seems to be one of those like underappreciated ones. It uh, just felt like it didn't get the recognition that it deserved. And look at this cement slab. Actually, a few cement slabs out here. Or concrete, whatever. It's almost like they came up from, uh, it looks like sidewalk pieces that have been broken apart and then they just like randomly chucked them out here. Looks like an old toolbox that got destroyed and somebody just threw it out here. Which I hate when people litter. And then look, part of like a tube for water drainage or something like that. Because then there's the ladder things in it. And they're going to have fun getting that shit out of here. As well as these. I mean, you could almost just lay these down and make like stepping stones. <laughs> like giant ass stepping stones. Oh god, Coors Light can. You can tell that's been out here for a while. It's all freaking faded. Is that just a giant ass rock? It's fucking cool. Looks like a few giant ass rocks. Like, yeah, they're huge. Trash! Trash. Oh, it's Pringle containers. Those are little travel ones. That one's concrete. Almost looks like an antique. Just because the way it's shaped and like beat up. I wish I could have asked them to like slice me pieces of log so that I could like paint pictures on them because I love that and I kind of want big ones because all the ones you buy at the store are freaking tiny and I just ugh, I want big ones like I can do the small ones it's just I want big ones too I like having a variety and certain trees like because of sap and whatever especially like pine trees kind of doesn't work out too well I have birch slices from when my parents cut our birch trees down. Um, but I try to keep the bark on them as much as I could, but kind of can't stop the inevitable when it starts breaking off over time. Except for hot gluing it back on. I like having that natural looking edge. So I guess a big video that I was going to do in the woods is no longer going to happen here. We'll have to take a backpack with all the stuff across the street and do it there. And if I do a spooky uh, wood stream, we'll have to go in that one as well. But that one might have more of a chance of being haunted or maybe just, I don't know. Because it's bigger, it's deeper. So, I don't know. Like, I really do want to go in at night when it's not freaking murderously hot. But, uh, I kind of wanted to this morning, but then I was just too freaking tired, so... Well, I guess this is this, and I mean, maybe down the road I could turn 
our little spot into more of a woodsy look and maybe put some more hostas and stuff down here because at least mine are big enough where I could probably split them up. Looky, it's pork chop. It's pork chop. Hi, kitty. Meow. Hi, pork chop. Oh, you got a scratch on your nose. What'd you do? You got a scratch on your nose. He's a good kitty. He's a good old kitty. Yes, he is. Good old kitty. How you doing this morning, bud? Hmm? How you doing this morning? Good kitty. Good old kitty. Good old kitty. Oh. He's one of the nice neighborhood cats. Not a jerk like the other one that comes to our window trying to pick fights with our cats. He's at least smart enough to stay away. And not bother them. Or anybody, really. Oh, I hear you purr. I hear that purr. Alright, bud. It is getting a little muggy. What are you doing, huh? You just want some pets, huh? You just want some pets. Alright. Well... That's that. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to do any today. We'll find out. Probably hear it. But I'm going to go in and do some cooking. Make these uh, rosemary uh, pecans. And I hope you all watch that video when I get it uploaded. Thanks for sticking around with this journey. I will have a shout out later. It's going to be kind of a compilation of... Um, bunch of people that have subscribed and not left rude comments so yeah leave nice comments I'll give you a shout out on Sundays I know I've been slacking a lot but it's been a little on the rough side lately so gonna try to put the positive forward